All right, so what I'm going to do today is have you guys and walk you through the um, puzzle cube solving times. And so if you notice over here, I have my sample puzzle cube data. Um, I've got the names of my people, and then I have my solution time in seconds. Notice how I have just the numbers in there. If you have anything else besides the numbers, the graph and things won't turn out right. So the first thing that they ask you to do is to get the mean, median, mode, standard deviation and range for your first attempt. So all you want is trial number one for all of your solution times. So I'm gonna go up here to the mean box and I'm going to write a function. Right, a function does math basically with cells. So the first thing for a function is I want an equal sign. That tells Excel that it's going to do some math stuff. So mean, in this case, Excel recognizes this is average. So I'm gonna type average and I'm gonna hit a parenthesis. Then I'm going to select my cells. So I'm going to hold the control key down to select individual cells, and I'm going to grab every number one of all of my participants. So notice how it selects everything in a different color. Okay. I'm going to scroll down. I've got all my data. So I'm going to close the parentheses, and it should generate a number. Now, there's a lot of decimals there, but we'll go back and fix that later. Next thing is a median. So again, I'm going to hit the equal sign, and I'm going to start typing what I want. So I want median, all capitals, then I'm going to hit the parentheses and select my data again. Close my parentheses. And there's my median. Now, with mode, there's going to be a number of different choices. So I'm going to start typing the word again. And notice how I get mode mult or mode single. I want single mode because I only want one mode selected. So I double click that and it fills in the rest of the function. So I'm going to hold the control key, select all of my data points. Again, all I want is my first trial. Close parentheses, hit enter. It's going to say NA. Um, let's see what's going on with this. Value not available error. Okay. Um, we'll try mode again uh, a little bit later. It may be mode multi, so we'll try that. Mode multi. Hit enter. Um, still get any, so we'll just leave that one off for right now. Then I want a standard deviation. Now, what a standard deviation is is basically how far off of the average um, a set of values is. So I'm going to hit equals, and again I'm going to start typing my function. So this time I want to select stdev.p. Double click on that. And I'm going to select my data. All right, and I get a standard deviation of 171.57655. Now, my last value here is range. Now, there's no specific Excel function for range. So what you have to do is you have to find the highest value minus the lowest value. So if I look through my data over here, I notice that 675 is my highest number. So I'm going to select that, and it gives me a cell number. Notice I don't want to put in the actual number. Then I'm going to hit the minus sign. And then I'm going to look through my data. And I'm going to find my lowest first attempt. That looks like 100. So I'm going to 
select that cell and then hit enter. So my range here is 575, pretty big range. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my second attempt. Back to the mean, so I type in equals and then I start typing in average. So A, V, E, whoops, A, V, C for some reason, A, V, E, double click average. This time I want attempt two only. So I'm gonna hold down the control key again. And I'm gonna select all my numbers next to number two. So I do that, close my parenthesis, hit enter, and I get an average there. All right, my last one now, I want attempt number three. So I'm gonna hit equals, and again, start typing in average. And this time I'm gonna do my third attempt. So hold the control key again, and select all of my lines there, close my parentheses, hit enter. Now, you say, well, what about all these decimals? All right, that's a lot of decimals. So I'm gonna try to clean this up here. So if I highlight all of these cells and right click, I get down here uh, where it says format cells. So I click on that, and I get a number choice. All right, so I go down to number, I only want two decimals, negative numbers, that doesn't really apply. So I hit okay, and notice how everything turns into two decimals. So I'm gonna do that then with my second numbers as well, just kind of clean up my data um, a little bit. we go. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to make a scatter plot of my mean solution times. Okay, notice I'm only going to have first, second, and third attempts. So I'm only going to have three data points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my mean for my first attempt, my mean for my second attempt and my mean for my third attempt. Go over here to insert and I'm gonna search through my charts. There's this little one right here that looks like a scatter plot. So I'm gonna select this. Now you notice this chart is pretty basic, but we're gonna clean this up here a little bit. So I go over to add chart element and first thing I want to change is my chart title. I'm going to put it above the graph and I will call it mean solution times because that's what we're looking for. Then I want to go back to my chart and the next thing I want to do is I want to change my axis title. So I have a choice of horizontal or vertical. So let's fix the vertical first, or the, yeah, the, verti the vertical first. So notice how it shows up kind of over here. If I highlight those, I can type my axis title. So I'm gonna call this time, and I wanna make sure that it's second, so I, put in the unit there, there's my seconds. Then I'll change my horizontal title. So I go here, and this is gonna be number of uh, attempts. All right, so I have that now. Now notice I have my three dots. If you're in math class, you probably know about a best fit line. Well, the nice thing is, is that Excel will add a best fit line for you. So I go here and actually we'll stop it right there um, and I'll continue this with the next recording.